Hi, uh, my name is Lee, and I uh, promised a few people that I'd do a tutorial on uh, Firebox and the editor that I've created. Uh, I tried to do this last night, but I went over the allotted time that YouTube gave me, so I've had to do it again, and i got 15 minutes. So I'm going to try and get through as much as I can within that uh, time. I have to presume you know how to download a file, unzip the file, get to the file, uh, and create a shortcut. If you don't, then uh, go to our forum. Uh, someone will help you there. I'm not going to go through all that now. I'm literally going to get you right in there to create your own room, save the room, uh, and basically know how to save your changes, come back to Firebox, and uh, add your own rooms, etc. Okay, firebox.oculus-world.com That's the first place you need to go to. I'll put the link in the description. You can log in, sign up, download Firebox. If you haven't down that, done that, do that now. Click on the link, it will open up a new tab. You have, uh, we're on 19.2, Linux version. Uh, I don't use Linux, can't help you install that or anything. Windows, like I said, download the zip, goes to your download folder and unzip it to ideally your desktop, it's easier to, to manage. I've got it up here on my desktop. Firebox executable and a folder called Workspace, you need to be aware of that one. We'll be using that in this uh, tutorial. Rerun Firebox. I'm using this without my Oculus, but um, this app is uh, awesome with the Oculus. Some controls behind you. I'm using the mouse to look around. WASD, same as a first person shooter. You click on the doors to see what's going on in there. I'm not going to go through what Firebox is. If you don't know, then just download it, play with it yourself. You'll, you'll figure it out. This is where you can have your own room based on it's living on my server. I'm going to show you some of the rooms very quickly. If I press F I can fly. So these these are all people that have created accounts that haven't really done much yet. A um, couple of people. So this guy has done the example code that's on the website. I'll show you that in a minute. These are the regular contributors to it at the moment. This is the guy that made the the app. And this is uh, again running from my web server. We've got my room. There he is, cool. So I'm gonna show you how to have your own door here and we'll do this this kind of room very quickly. So I'm going to hit F11, so I can see what I'm doing, go to the website, now I'm going to do a fresh account, I'm going to sign up, take that out, uh, what do I call myself, uh, Mr. Blogs, password, Mr. Blogs. Very easy to create account. Mr. Blogs. Why is it remembered that? I don't know. This is all very work in progress, so. Okay, this is what you'll see after signing up and logging in. Let's get. Uh, actually, I can show you the door now. If I do Control and R, it has refreshed the program. And there's Mr. Blogs. That is the account I've just made. But. There's nothing in there. Dead end detected because they've put absolutely nothing in there. We're going to do that now. At the very top here, you've got example code. Click on that, it will open a new tab. It gives you some code. Highlight it, copy, paste in here, save at the bottom left. Um, go back, control R to refresh. 
Now when I click on here, we are going to have a, a ball in the room with a picture of Bert over there. The ball and Bert. Easy. Now, remember I said we need to be aware of this directory workspace. There's nothing here at the moment. I've actually deleted. There usually is a file there, but I've deleted it. Uh, what's going to happen now, I will go back to the application. If I click and hold my right mouse button, it brings up a green arrow. As you can see, it kind of detects where objects are in the world. And I'm still holding down the right button. The room itself is locked, but if I hover over this um, this moon and let go, it's selected. Now I can do four things. I can move it, scale it, color it, and rotate it. And by changing the modes, you press tab. At the moment, it's position. Uh, that is rotation, X, Y, Z. Scale, color. Color is RGB, but it's only on a value from 0 to 1. Now, to, to change any of these figures, it's always the same set of keys, uh, W, S, A and D, Q and E, so they're all in the same place on the keyboard. So I'm at the moment I'm on scale, if I do W, it's up, hit S, it's this way, um, and A and D will do it the width ways. I mean, when you look on the keyboard you'll see kind of why it's doing it the way it's doing it now. It's, it's intuitive. It tries to be intuitive anyway. I can decrease the red, green and blue using the same keys. You can see the colour of the moon changing. And if I took them all the way down it would be it would be black. So I don't want to do any of that. I'm gonna right click to forget the changes I've made. How long have I got? Seven minutes. Bert, let's make uh, a copy of Bert and put him over here and then I'm going to change Bert to a picture of my cat. Right click on Bert, he's selected, Control C to copy. Now we go over here, right click, Control V, paste. Now, if I do Control S to save, and I'll go back to that workspace folder I mentioned, you've now got a file called out.html. Double click on it, it will open up uh, your default browser. You don't see anything, that's because the code generated is only Firebox code. Right click, view the source, and there's our Firebox code. Everything in between, uh, actually title, here where it says my first room, title and Firebox room. You can copy this, which I'll do. Copy. You can close this file if you want to. Go back to the editor, where we were. Take out everything. Paste it in there. Save. And that has now saved online what we've just done in this room. Do Control Refresh. So nothing has changed. It's all as it was just now, but it's saved online. This will always be here now. Uh, I'm going to change Bert. Um, the quickest way to explain where Bert is, okay, I'm going to right click on him. So the position it says here is 0 0.02.1 uh, uh, minus 20. Minus 20 means he is uh, minus 20 away from the place we started, which was here. So this guy is over to the left of where we started, 10 across and 10 back. This guy is in the middle but back 20 places. You need to know that so we need to know, uh, figure out which picture to change. So go back to the application. We've got two pictures of Bert here. One there, one there. The one we want to change is this one because we can see there it's minus 19.9999. That's the guy at the back. How do we do that? Well, I'm going to upload 
a picture of my cat. So browse my desktop. Uh, da -da 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 cat. Um, which one shall I have? The, that one, the curly cute. He's no longer with us, unfortunately. And click upload. Give it a second. Oh, I can't upload that one, it's too big. Maximum height must be 1280 by 1280. Okay, I probably should have done that before. 800 by 600. That one's okay. Okay, Carly, close. That's up there now. Uh, I'm going to run out of time again. I'm going to have to do another tutorial, I think. So in the assets, assets are separate from the objects in the room. I'm trying to break this up a bit so it's easier for you to see. Um, so this section uh, contains the information about the objects in the room. This section uh, is actually grabbing the object in the first place. So we've got the moon object, the texture around the moon, we've got the Bert image and the actual file that Bert is using. I'm going to copy that. Uh, don't really need to copy it because it's going to take most of it out. But um, Change Bert image to cat image. I'm going to take out the reference to Bert.jpg. You can actually, the file I've uploaded, click, drag into this bit. So it now puts the, the direct URL URL uh, to the JPEG I've just uploaded. Now, Bert on the left, but I said yeah, minus 9 uh, to the left and minus 10, which is only 10 back, 10 to the left, that's the one we want to keep. This is the one we want to change to cat.image, uh, cat underscore image, save the file, go back here, control R, and this one should be a picture of my cat now. There we go. Oh, okay. That's all I can fit in here because I've got about a minute left, I think. That is about as quick as I can explain how to at least start with Firebox and the editor that I've created. It is very much work in progress on both areas, the app and uh, the the editor that I've made. But have a play. Join the forum. Uh, Lots of people there to help you, uh, including myself, James, the, the, the dude who's made the app. And that's it. I have to stop. I um, hope it's useful. Uh, if you have any kind of requests, special things you want me to talk about, uh, just let me know somewhere. Find me on the forum. Okay, cheers, bye.